in this session we are going to discuss about a demo related to cloud analyst in the previous lecture we had already discussed about the brief about cloud sim how it can be related with cloud analyst and how one can set up a cloud computing environment so for that uh, we need to first download this cloud analyst zip file from internet and we need to save in our system after downloading this cloud analyst zip file we need to first extract this folder here so i have uh, downloaded this uh, cloud analyst folder and stored in my desktop and extract in my desktop only and uh, for this cloud analyst based cloud sim uh, toolkit we need netbeans ide 8.2 so here also netbeans ide is present so first step we need to click on this netbeans ide so it will take some time to open so this cloud analyst is basically built upon cloud sim toolkit one graphical representation of uh, many scheduling of task or any simulation result can be represent using uh, this cloud analyst so here uh, we have extracted this cloud analyst and uh, we are uh, using netbeans ide along with cloud analyst so after clicking netbeans id it will take some time to open up so now our netbeans id e has been opened so here you can see as we have already extracted this cloud analyst part uh, here in the left hand part left hand corner you can see one cloud analyst option is there for this cloud analyst some source package is present some library files are also present in source package we will find out many cloud sim related um, uh, program are st already stored over here so next step is to click on the file now click on open project so after clicking on open project you can see here one uh, folder is present here cloud analyst so just click on cloud analyst and now click on open project so after clicking that uh, open project one new project will be open and uh, we will run that project so to run that project or to simulate that project uh we need to click on the run button so whatever the already program inso installed in the source package those project will be run so let's click on the run button so run button is present here so click on run the project click okay so here you can see in the bottom uh, cloud analyst run so after run finish Uh, this uh, geographical representation of the world map will come and uh, here some of the options are there and in the bottom in the right hand bottom so here it is not visible but in your screen it will be visible one option will be present so reason boundary so click on that just see my mouse pointer click on that so after clicking on that reason boundary will be visible for our world map so reason r0 r1 r2 r3 like five reason six reason are present r0 to r5 and all this reason are separated by some different color and uh, dc1 one terminology is here dc1 is data center ub is the uh, user base here so let's analyze what are the other option available for the configuration of this program so click on configure simulation so after clicking that we will get three uh, three types of configuration main configuration data center configuration and advanced configuration so in the main configuration we have simulation duration user base uh, then uh, application development configuration will contain service broker policy then uh, the properties of data center you can mention so here 
let's click on uh, let's edit the duration part let's say we will take 5 minutes of time so let it save as 5 and uh, it is minute hour and days so let's click on minute so we have edited the simulation duration and here in the user basis and uh, user base is uh, nothing but it is a component model uh, which consists of a group of user and uh, it will generate uh, traffic when some task will be submitted and a group of user task is submitted to a particular data center only and uh, for the further processing of the task a group of user base will submit the task to the data center. So here we need to assume a group of user are submitting a set of tasks to a particular reason only. So this is the important feature of this user base part. And here user base name is mentioned. So UB1 is present in the reason 2. Uh, request per user per hour is 60. Similarly data size is data size per request is 100 byte. Peak hour is 3. Peak hour end time is 9. Average users uh, peak user is 1000. Average off peak user is 100. So we'll, uh, uh, I, am, I will explain what is uh, this uh, average peak user and average off peak user. So let's add another user base. So uh, click on add now. And you can manipulate the uh, reason number also here. So for user base let's take reason 0. And let other parameter be same. Similarly we can add user base 3 let it be 1 the reason 1 uh, another user base I have created in reason 3 another user base I have created in reason 4 another user base I will create in reason 5 and other parameters I have kept uh, same so there is an option remove uh, you can remove some user base also so up, uh, next part is application deployment configuration so here some broker policies are there so closest data center policies optimize response times policies uh, reconfigure dynamic with load balancing policies so any of the service broker policy you can choose so here i will choose closest data center policies because um, two nearest data center will uh, means cooperate with each other so i have chosen service broker policies uh, as closest data center policies and here uh, we have two pricing mechanism two pricing mechanism like uh, it has a off peak hour and one is your peak hour so in off peak hour basically the resource request is less but in case of peak hour the resource request is more and in off peak hour uh, it will operate from 12 am to 12 pm Whereas your peak hour will be operated on 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. So this is the two pricing mechanism uh, we can choose in uh, cloud analyst configuration part. And uh, after this we need to um, move to the uh, save configuration. Click on save configuration. Let's say I will name it as uh, new 2. New 2 name I have given. Any name you can give then click on save. Next click on data center configuration. So in data center configuration, uh, we have created only one data center here. So in the previous main configuration also you can, you have seen one, only one data center was created. So here we can also create uh, more than one data center. If we will click on DC1, uh, we can see that uh, two, I mean, so details of this particular data centers are given over here. Uh, means here we have created two physical hardware unit for this DC1. So for this DC1 it is created in reason 0 and it is operated on Linux operating system and the virtual machine monitor is gen hypervisor here and the cost, memory, storage, all these things are the properties for this DC1 and physical hardware units are two. So for this physical hardware units uh, ID 0 and ID 1 are mentioned their properties are also mentioned over here if we will create some more data center let's create add new so DC 2 is created let's say it will be present in reason 1 for this DC 2 one physical hardware 
unit is created if you can uh, uh, if you want you can add some other uh, physical hardware resource also uh, so let it be dc2 one physical hardware unit now save this configuration same new to click on save so this is the data center configuration we have done now click on advanced setting in advanced setting configuration user grouping factor in user basis is mentioned as 10 similarly request grouping factor is mentioned as 10 and instruction per length per request is mentioned as 100 byte and uh, there are many load balancing policies you can present here one is your round robin equally spreaded uh, current execution load then trotted uh, algorithm these are the three load balancing policies it has given so any other load balancing policies also you can incorporate into your cloud sim for your uh, uh, some extra uh, work and uh, here let's say we will choose round robin so for this particular round robin load balancing policies we will uh, means uh, go for the simulation process so click on save configuration save click on save now click on done so after clicking on done uh, you can see here we have created uh, data center 1 in region 0 and ub2 is also in region 0 similarly user base 3 is created in region 1 similarly other user bases and data centers are created geographically distributed over here now click on run simulation so after clicking on run simulation you will get such a simulation uh, uh, response you will get so in this response summary all this user base details their average time minimum and maximum time you will get and uh, uh, for each user base uh, for each data center you have created you will get a details uh, uh, details uh, means uh, uh, report just uh, uh, if you want to save this report you can uh, click on export result click on export result and this result will be saved in your uh, PC let's say it is new to we have given the name so it will be present in a PDF manner in your system so let's close this simulation result and after that you will get this simulation result uh, in a graphical way each uh, data center for each data center for each user base you have created their average time maximum time will be shown so this particular simulation is for round robin so for two other algorithm uh, your throated uh, and equally spreaded algorithm also you can do the simulation part and uh, uh, you can compare these three algorithms uh, uh, how this will uh, affect on round robin and in other two algorithm you can compare and uh, after this simulation will complete uh, you can click on the exit button so now it is completed and here all these uh, means uh, details part is reported here in the output uh, so here when how many user base we have created when it is created and all these details are reported over here how the virtual machine is allocated in the data center all these things are reported over here and the simulation result is also present over here so here in the cloud analyst as we know it is built upon cloud sim so whatever the algorithm we will write in the cloud sim uh, source package those algorithm can be uh, run using cloud sim simulator because uh, it is a uh, this particular um, simulator cloud sim simulator cloud analyst uh, basically helps us to represent one graphical summary uh, one model uh, by which we can uh, implement some of the algorithm in a graphical way so about the brief about cloud analyst and cloud sim i have discussed in the previous lecture you can also refer to that lecture thank you